Welcome to the Nexento product training series. Today we're going to talk about Active Directory and SIFS integration. So you've already got Nexento Store installed, you've got your data sets created, your shares are set, and you've already got SIFS enabled. So now what do you do with it? The great thing is we have some great integration with Active Directory and ways that you can manage your shares via Windows. The first thing we need to look at are the user and machine properties. So we're going to look at the user properties first. The first thing you need is a user account that you're able to access to add Nexenta Store to the domain. So if you notice here, we're looking at an account we created called Storage. Storage is a standard user, and that's what we're going to use to join the domain. You also notice that we don't have any machine cre accounts created already for the Nexenta Store box. You can pre-stage an account by just adding it in to AD directly. We can also add it as we go if you'd like. If you're going to pre-stage your account, make sure you create a group that has rights to add machines to the domain. Here we use standard users. That standard user has the storage account that we created earlier. You're able to confirm it in the box below. The next step is joining Accenta to the domain. This process is pretty simple. You go to data management and then you'll notice join AD server as an option on the left hand side. Simply enter the full DNS so that you can able to see your domain controller from the Nexenta store box. In this case, our domain controller and our DNS are the same server at dot .132. You're then going to want to add in your fully qualified domain name. In our example, it's demo.lab. You may look at something.int or something.local, whatever yours is. Then simply add the AD user and password that you had selected. If you haven't already logged in, you're going to need to log in to Nexenta Store to actually make the changes. You can just use the admin account that you created when you first installed Nexenta Store to log in with. Once you've logged in, you'll see that the SIF settings have been successfully changed. If you go to the status, you'll be able to notice things like that this machine has already been joined to AD, it's demo.lab, and then what the DNS server is. Once you've joined the domain, you probably want to access those shares from Windows Explorer. This is just like you would any other Windows share or any other storage that you're used to looking at. Simply connect via the UNC path. In this case, our machine name was Nixenta. We had it in DNS already. And you'll notice that our share was there. We can go ahead and add folders, so we'll add a demo folder. Uh, once we've created a demo folder, we can go into it and maybe we want to add a text document. So we simply add a text document. The last thing we're going to look at is managing your shares via Microsoft Management Console or the MMC. First thing you do is open the MMC and go ahead and add the snap in and go down to your shared folders plugin. Shared folders will ask you what machine you want to look at. So we're going to go ahead and set it at Nexento since we already had that in DNS as we talked about earlier. Notice it'll show shares and all the other options that you have for normal Windows management. If we expand out the shared folders, we're able to see the shares. Then we can go down and see sessions, if there's more sessions open. Obviously this is a demo environment, so we don't have very many things open, including with open files, but you would see those. So how do we want to manage the shares? First thing we're going to do is go to the properties of the shares. Once we get into the properties, we're able to see the same things you would see for any other Windows share. Because this is just a basic share we haven't done anything to, the first thing we're going to do is set a description of Nixenta share. You'll see that later. Then if we go, we can go into publishing and you can publish it within AD. Maybe you have a DMS set up. Maybe you're just used to accessing shares through Active Directory. Then share permissions. A lot of people would just leave this at everyone to have full rights, but if you want to have so just domain users have it, you can set that or a specific group that can actually see the share and you can remove other groups. The next thing is to look at actually the security ACLs in the security tab. There's already some that have been pre-created to give access into the share and these can also be edited. But the first thing we're going to do is add in the domain admins group here so that domain admins have full control over this share. Once we've set them to full control, we simply say apply and then we're going to add in one more group because we'd like to have our standard users be able to access the share also. So you go ahead and add them and we only want them to have read access. Once we apply the changes and set everything through, you're now able to manage these shares just like you would any other Windows share. You notice the description is set as an extent to share in this window as well. 
Thanks for watching the product training series today on Active Directory and SIFS integration.